I bought this game for the sole reason because Berlizzi's ending. <laughs> if y'all watch Berlizzi, which I'm sure y'all do. Or if you don't, go check him out. But his ending to this game was just so horrendous that I literally bought this on the night of my birthday. I used my one of my gift cards that I got for my birthday just to buy this game. Because his ending was so bad. I'm like, oh, I have to fix it. Like, I have to. I have to get a better ending than him. So that's what we're going to be doing in this gameplay. And following content warnings, alcohol and tobacco, cheating and infidelity, domestic and emotional abuse, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, homicide, bloods and guns, homophobia, gender, and racial discrimination, and mental health issues, and into and and. <laughs> Oh my gosh, institutionalization, stalking, and wrongful conviction and imprisonment mentioned. I don't know why I have fumbled that right there so badly, but yeah, so we're going to get into it. <laughs> this game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fate of others around you. I don't think... Proceed with caution. See, Berlizzi listened too much to too much peer pressure from the fans, but I'm gonna do better and get the better ending. Berlizzi, I love you, bro. Love your biz, but <laughs> you fumbled that ending, bro. So, come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. It's on your right, here. Do you always do the first floor? No. No, I'm usually in charge of the second and third. So each floor has their side floor. Can't even change the camera angle right now. Have anything? I suppose you'd be dressed as a woman for the first floor. Here we are. Being dressed as a whoa. Good luck. That's crazy. Already starting off crazy. Is all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. 21 years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie cleaning up the room. That means done. Now just a bit of tidying up, and I can go on break. All right. Sophie. I don't know if that's copyright or not, so... <laughs> no need to bother reception right now. Hmm. Okay, make the bed. Do do do. Post that. Okay. Um. 
bed's not complete without its pillow. Got ash stains on the floor, bro. Oh, R2 and move left and right. Oh, okay. Mm, good enough. Talk about good enough is still there. Where did you put the pillows? Hmm, only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? You know me. You know my family. You had a seat at our bar since the day we opened at 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct and possible in letting, le letting you know that you're down to your last last chance the eight thousand three hundred and eighty dollars you owe us plus 25 percent interest is now eight months overdue my patience has worn thin this isn't one of your unpaid bar tabs you can come to us for help and help always comes at a price we've opened our pockets to you time and time again and all you've done is taken advantage our good will our goodwill and generosity we will come over in person to make our collection tomorrow i'll be bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat and just so you know they are two good words yeah bro's getting jumps rip uh da 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 loan okay Something about like loan, but yeah, bro. That is a lot of money to owe, bro. Like, dang, regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, specifically the owner of 88. 32nd Street has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts. Specifically, an amount owed to us the sum of $1,904.75. He has given us little recourse but to contact him through those in close proximity and to him in hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it's not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. Kindly, Lucky Coin Financing. <sighs> yeah, bro must have got involved with some mobs. Because... All that hassling? Yeah, bro, you never play with them loan sharks, bro. <clears throat> I can't fix that? Okay. Do they need the bathroom clean? And voila, good as new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why can't I take the mirror, the thing over the mirror off? But oh, grab it. Okay.
guess maybe they just want us to leave it like that. Alright. Please clean this room. Bro's walking out like there's something mysterious. sing a Burleazy song for y'all. Garfield, it's really nice to meet you. Garfield, mm, nice to meet you. Have you heard about that not I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Yeah, me out. Something, something, yeah. Uh, something, something out of drama. Mm -mm -mm. I've been singing the song all day though. Gossip magazine. Do you think she has any real friends? Or is it just Gracie Joan and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> Yvette and Susan hating on us. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you shouldn't. No, I realize I've been blind. I was so in love with you that I couldn't see. What? What? What do you mean? Bro just really left her keys down there. what Beth wanted to talk about. Hmm, now's not the time to pick up Smokey and Sophie. <laughs> oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball, even if they did draw the short straw. Beth. Hey Beth. Beth. Damn. Mm -hmm. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. <laughs> they weren't kissing this time. They were fighting. Oh, this is entertaining. I mean, oh no, why? I'm not completely sure, but it sounded like Linda had something to do with it. Ugh, that bitch. Beth. Trust me, she deserves it. <laughs> I don't get why everyone hates her so much. Linda's always nice to me. To you, maybe. But she's just the worst to every girl she perceives as a threat. A threat? A threat to what? I don't know. Her place as Bernard's right hand, I suppose. Ba -ba. So, you're ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Linda thinks that. But that's her mistake. I know there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, you said you needed me? My help, I mean. Oh, right. Garfield, why? it's really nice to meet you, Garfield. I'm guessing there's something I have to clean? Obviously. But what is it? Uh, did a kid throw up again? God, no. 
Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. While I was cleaning, some of it got... Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Keep talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. Mm -hmm. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the mm -hmm. supply closet next mm -hmm. to Bernard's mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll see you around. Okay, let's go get that mop. 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 Beth's banter, even if it's only a few minutes out of my day, my chats with Beth where I was a highlight. She called me up to clean a mess made by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who could make conversations seem so effortless. Beth has a witty response for everything is two batmates aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be a great way to start my morning. And then Trouble in Paradise and then Haunted Hotel. Some days I'm convinced the Clarendon is haunted, not that I believe in ghosts, but normally there have been too many incidents for me to rule out the possibility completely. Just this morning, waiting for the elevator on the fifth floor when I heard a loud bang behind me like someone shutting a door, but with more force than I've ever heard a person use. I looked around, but there was no one to be seen, and I just imagined things. Okay. Beth has been a hotel, the hotel's receptionist for as long as I can remember. In fact, her, hers was the first face that welcomed me when I took my first step inside the Clarington. She knows this place like the back of her hand. Beth can be fiery, which doesn't win her much love from Bernard, but most most guests adore her for her ma magnetic personality, and that's some Bernard can p plainly see. Don't get the chance to chat as often as I like but when we do it's always a blast I only wish I had even half of her wits so I could ent entertain her as much as she entered Bernard is the Clarington's manager to Big Boss he spends most of the days locked in his office and doesn't like the maids roaming around outside of their posts so our paths don't cross often lately he's been helping on getting the hotel back in shape whatever that means and there have been a lot of changes around here as a result Enforcing employee rules strictly than ever, more strictly than ever, and blah 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 blah. Let y'all read that, or if y'all want to pause the video and read it. Okay. Wendy Okay, if y'all want to pause it and read it, uh, yeah. <clears throat> that smell. If only we're allowed in there. Chocolate mousse cake. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Oh, no. Bernard would have both our hands. Oh, shock. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and, huh? And not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but 
I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard something and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm, I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just, I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. No, Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase. Yeah, I saw that catastrophe happen. Just what we need, huh? Well, I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the reception hall with Nicole. Ooh, yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but I didn't expect to find someone's shoe in there. How? <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty of weird stuff. A shoe in a chocolate yeah. fountain? What type of freaky stuff is y'all getting up to, bruh? Bruh, release it. Mm. Well, there was this lady who had a love letter addressed to someone I know. What? No way. Uh, who was it? You. You're messing with me. <laughs> it was worth seeing your face turn red. Wow, <laughs> you got me. Oh, I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to... Do -do. Yeah. yeah, all right. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough having to deal with it was endless letters of advice from Raymond. Raymond? What have you on? Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Oh, I can hardly believe you two are from the same family. In the States, you'd be sent to jail for those communist ideas. <sighs> I hope you're not considering listening to him. Of course not. It's not like I have a choice anyway. With the renovation costs overrun, the hotel's gonna go under if I don't wait. Have you tried calling Mr. Weston? I have, but uh, I haven't been able to get through to him. And anyway, Mr. Weston, Devin Weston, GTA 5. So no, let me stop. <laughs> Not even the same time period. I don't know. I feel like he's like he's been avoiding my calls lately. You look so tense today. Oh, that's because I am. I've had this, uh, this pain in my shoulder. Oh, right, right here. Let's keep, let's keep, uh, dropping. Abe says I can get rid of even the toughest man. Abe? Abraham, sorry. Now, come here. Is that good? Uh, a, a bit lower. Here? Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Either they're having sex or some, because it got real quiet. Or is she just still rubbing his back, bro? Because what? <laughs> you know you nuzzy when you post it up at the door like this. I'm just trying to see if there's a unique dialogue change. Oh. Oh. I just hear grunting for right now, so. Well, you made it very 
clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Yeah, I don't know what Burr got going on. Just go get the... <laughs> yeah, let's just go clean up, bro. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> All right, let's mop it up. A film roll? The guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Ew, I better throw that away. I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... No, that's very unlikely. So, which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Oh, I have to select it manually. Oh, okay. Room 505. Great, that's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Off to room 505. Had I felt bad bugging Beth while she was in the middle of an uh, important phone call, but like always, she came through the logbook says Mr. Spade's room is room 505. I was just in the middle of taking care. Fifth floor before my break. Return the film schedule and get right back to my schedule. Well, the film roll, the film schedule. Hold it, please. Hold on. Thanks. All right, I'm back. I'm back. What's the news? I need to bring this to our VIP guest, the one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? British man. The girls have been complaining about him ever since he arrived. Yeah, I'm sure this one has no thoughts for maids. With the dogs he has up there, his room will be a real mess when he's done with them. That's crazy. Dogs? Bernard must really like him if he allowed pets in the building. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Do 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 do. Okay, do, let me do. Think. Ooh, Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. You orange haired freak. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Geek, bro. <sighs> oh. 
Uh oh. Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade. Ooh. Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade. Film roll. Like how bro's first thing she does is like, yeah, let me walk into the red room. Oh my gosh, that's us. Oh no. away to No, I know I probably shouldn't have thrown the tongs away, but like he'll be alright. I should bring that back to my cart. Prescription drugs, but what are they for exactly? Hmm. I fill with pictures of me snooping through guest items. My heart never beats so quickly. Should I call the police? Why would you call the police? They're gonna get you. Mr. Spade is a guest here at the hotel. He's staying in room 505. He seems to carry film rolls around and he was in such a rush to get somewhere today that he knocked over a base in the lobby. But other than that, I don't know much about him. I can't deny that I'm curious no more. Well, Sophie asks and you shall receive. I now know Mr. Spade is a stalker and he's been stalking none other than me. I still can't believe those pictures in his bathroom are real. Garfield, it's really nice to meet you.